Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm seeing you being really happy, okay? Um, this is, you know what, here's the thing, what I'm feeling yeah, look at, look at, nothing's getting to you. And that was the feeling that I'm getting. There's a karmic out here. I feel like there's a lot of karmics that are starting to kind of lose their gourd, right? They're losing their minds out here. Literally, literally. Um, here's the thing with the karmics. Let's just talk about it. They're sending you some really bad energy. They've been jealous. They've been envious. They've been obsessing over you for how long now? We've been on this journey for how long? And the karmics, karmics have been obsessing over you since the very, very beginning of this journey. Could have been years for some of you, okay? Um, constantly watching you, trying to be like you, sending you bad energy, uh, wishing um, the worst for you, right? Wishing, uh, praying for your downfall, um, doing spell work, right? Whatever they can do, trash talking you, ruining your reputation behind your back. It's just been constant, right? Um, I feel like a lot of us out here have been like thinking, when are they just going to stop already? My gosh, can't they just focus on themselves, right? No, no. Um, I feel like they're they're focusing on you because it's just become such an obsession now. Um, it's really affecting their minds, okay? I feel like some of, the, especially this karmic, I feel like they, they already had possibly some um, mental issues, okay? Maybe a chemical imbalance or it could have been something that could be um, easily treated or something they could cope with, right? But through this journey, because of the obsession and because you know what, nothing is affecting you. Nothing is affecting you because of your high vibes, right? I feel like it's starting to, it, it's making their pre-existing mental instabilities even worse because of the pressure, because of the, the obsession, because um, they're not focused on themselves and taking care of their own stuff, the stresses of every everyday life. If they're co constantly obsessed about what you're doing and how good you're doing, and they're constantly trying to knock themselves out, basically trying to be like you, their whole lives, they can't take care of anything else including themselves, okay? When are they going to find time for themselves if they're constantly obsessing about you? And I feel like since they keep watching you because they keep preying on your downfall, right? They're expecting you to fall and nothing is having an effect because you're, you're tapped into the divine. You're remaining high vibing and calm, right? Calm, peaceful, serene, meditative through this whole entire process. Nothing's having an effect on you. They cannot keep you down, collective. They can't keep you down. And it's, it's to the point where these karmics are ready to pop. Do you understand? <laughs> They're losing their minds, like, in a literal sense, okay? They're getting lost in their own obsession over trying to, you know, take you out or bring you down somehow. It's actually, now it's to the point, and I picked up on this before for about the last week, it's to the point where any bad energy now that they send you now, since that door to the last cycle is shut, I feel. Now, when they send you this bad energy, it only makes you feel better. It only makes you do better and succeed. And now they're really freaking out. Um, I feel like for some of them, they're even willing to do something illegal just to try to bring you down. Okay, because I'm seeing this person in like jail clothes, right? Uh, yeah, but they just, they, they, nothing's working. Nothing's working. You're still like, um, you know? Yeah, very in touch. And look at, they're watching you. Did you see what I just saw? 
Oh, maybe it'll come out again. There it is. They're watching you under a microscope, looking for any kind of sign that anything that they're doing, any kind of spell work, any kind of bad energy, any kind of trash talk, they're looking for any kind of sign that it is having an, a negative effect on you, but it's not. It's not. Just know that you're being really studied, okay? Um, and yeah, see, this is my crazy card. They're going crazy with anger management issues. Look at how angry they are. Can you imagine, especially in your meditative, peaceful state of mind, right? Could you imagine walking around all day, every day, obsessed and angry with somebody else that they have no control over? Can you imagine what their life must be like? Let's think about that for a second. That is like creating your own level of hell, isn't it? I feel like this is the masculine energy just wants to get away from this karmic, I gotta say. Yeah, that's the masculine energy, wanting to get out of there. I feel like they're getting prepared to go, and maybe that's why the karmic is so angry. This masculine is cleaning themselves up, um, you know, and cleaning themselves up and uh, receiving a lot of downloads, okay? Really receiving a lot of messages. This is somebody who's getting, I feel, constant downloads. Um, a lot of information coming at this person. Uh, cleaning themselves up. This person could have stopped like an addiction or stopped drinking or stopped doing something. Cleaning themselves up doesn't have to mean brushing their teeth and taking a shower. I feel like this person is getting the messages and it's changing them and they're starting to improve their lifestyle, okay? I feel like they're doing a lot of fighting with this karmic because of it. Um, this karmic doesn't like it at all that this person is doing their work, changing. They're changing. They're raising their vibrations. Look at this is spiritual communication. I feel like they're trying to telepathically communicate with you, but I don't think it's working. They could be praying a lot. They could be talking to the divine a lot. Um, yeah, look at this karmic drinking i feel like this yeah and while you're out here succeeding working um focused on your job your career your creative project whatever it is that you're growing here um you could have gotten a promotion recently i feel like this is the karmic man i i'm telling you everything that they tried to do each one of these crumpled up pieces of paper was a plan that didn't work it was bad energy or a spell that didn't work. I feel like literally there's spells in here. There's uh, um, bad energy that they sent. There's schemes. There's plants. Nothing worked. Trash talk, everything, all the lies that they've spread, nothing worked. You're still um, very tapped in. You're still very peaceful, living a, a very peaceful life, very meditative, right? And your person is waking up. Yeah, I feel like some of them even tried to get your person trapped with the pregnancy, but that didn't work either for this karmic, not for this one. Maybe they have kids already, but I, I feel like um, somebody could have even lost a pregnancy here due to the stress. I mean, the karmic is under a lot of stress. I know. Um, it's, it's hard to hear that, but it's true because they're working so hard to try to ruin you, <laughs> and all of their work is in vain. Nothing is happening. As a matter of fact, I feel like it's ruining not only their mental state, but their life, okay? You know, they can't focus on themselves. Um, if they're constantly focused on you and you're out here winning see no matter what they do it maybe it pushes you up a level now I feel like now whatever energy they send you is only making you succeed more it's only taking you farther it's having a positive effect for you 
So, you know, yeah, it's driving this karmic to drink. This could be a drinker. And here, look at this. Is, this, I'm telling you, is um, it kind of proves my point when I say I think they had maybe some mental instabilities before. Now, they could have been mild before, but I'm seeing this person here. The main thing I see about this picture is this little tiny scar on their wrist. I feel like this is this karmic could have been suicidal in the past. And now they're just, uh, they can't control their rage. They can't control it. I feel like that's why, you know, I, I feel like this, you know, um, this cat looks like it wants out, but it also could be kind of afraid. I feel like in a lot of ways, this masculine here is afraid of the, the karmic backlash because now they can see what this karmic is capable of. But here you are going to calmer waters. This could be travel too or a house move. So could this with the world card. Whatever it is that you're doing out here, you're reaching people around the world. I feel like you're very intuitive. You've, um, you've put in so much effort. This is almost like a transformation of your life, you know? And I feel like you guys are stepping into a new cycle that's going to be really abundant and successful. I feel like everybody's watching you. I feel like, yeah, and the masculine is watching you too, okay? Um, they're angry because they can see that you're leaving, number one, and they can, you're in the public eye, I feel, doing something um, absolutely amazing. Whatever it is, you're amazing at what you do, all right? Um, and they're angry because, you know what, they're in here, they're in a situation with somebody that is, Completely unpredictable, uncontrollable, um, kind of going crazy, all right, and, uh, and enraged, constant fighting, battles. I mean, it's, it's a karmic situation, and they're mad because uh, I feel like what they're seeing, not only do they see you out here succeeding, but they see the karmic um, really going downhill fast, fast. Yeah. All right, so what else can you show me? And this masculine, I feel like they want out so bad, but they feel kind of trapped. The karmic is mad at them all the time because they're changing. Their vibes are, are um, raising. They're, they're getting the messages and the downloads from the divine. Yeah, and I feel like all they want to do is come towards you, collective, with flowers and a bottle of bubbly in hand okay they want to come towards the collective they don't want to be in this karmic situation anymore who would... <laughs> okay so who would want to live with this you know what i'm saying i i i feel like the karmic this karmic in particular and a lot of others i picked up on they need some professional help Okay, they really do. They need a break from being obsessed about you. They need to stop obsessing about you. If they stopped focusing on you and they started focusing on themselves, they could be successful as well. They could have their life together. They could get their mind right. You know? They could, get, they could get their life right if they focused on their life, but they're focusing on your life. You know, and they're jealous, they're envious, and you're just out here being happy doing you. You're just, you just want to live a peaceful life, man. I don't see you. Yeah, they want you out of the way, collective. They want you gone. And they want to keep this masculine stuck wherever they are. They've been doing binding spells, but I feel like those aren't going to work for very long if they work at all. 
Yeah, this is spell work. Candle magic. Just to keep your person where they are. I feel like they get a, um, they're uh, working together with a group of people, okay? To possibly do spell work against you, binding spells on this masculine, but it's not working. The masculine is waking up, and here you are out here living your best life. Nothing is working, no matter how hard they try and strain and stretch and, you know, break a sweat. Nothing is working, none of it. Not against your masculine, because they can maybe bind them and um, get them to not talk to you or keep them where they are, but they can't stop them from getting divine messages. If the... if. If God wants this person woken up, they're going to wake him up. Whether this karmic likes it or not. And no spell work and little candles are going to stop it. And when it comes to stopping your success, they're not stopping that either. You're out here celebrating your life collective. Whether the karmic likes it or not. I feel like nothing is working. Nothing. And that's why they're losing their minds. Okay? That's why. Oh, boy. Okay, so um, let's see how your person is feeling. So this masculine is um, having their awakening. They're getting spiritual. They're getting all kinds of spiritual collective. Um well, they had their inner work to do, and the divine is trying to get this person up to speed. So, yeah, and I feel like the karmic is upset with that, too, because this, as this masculine changes, they want to pull away more and more and more from this karmic. Nothing the karmic is doing is working because they're not focused on themselves. Okay? All right, how is this masculine feeling about the collective? And you just keep shining, and and I'm hearing, um, diamond girl, you sure do shine. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're the diamond out here, and you're on a glow up. Um, you could be living kind of a, a lavish life right now. Some of you could be treating yourselves to, I don't know, maybe a piece of jewelry, diamond necklace or something. Um, you're, you could be going on a vacation, you could be just uh, meeting new people, um, having fun, being approached out here, being gorgeous, look at how beautiful you are, and just vibrant and happy and doing you, you're living your life, you're living your life. And look at this, here's the karmic, all kinds of bitter and resentful. You know, I mean, come on, man. They'll learn to focus on themselves sooner or later, collective, okay? They will. They'll learn to. They'll learn to. Yeah, I feel like, too, um, how your person feels. They're trying to find a creative way to express themselves, okay? Um, they don't know how to just approach you with a bottle of wine and flowers in hand, okay? After maybe um, being stuck with this karmic for a long, long time. Because now, see, you've had all of this time to learn your lessons and do your work. Now that you um, have learned those lessons, you're ready to take these the, the training wheels off and move forward. Just cover up the word encouraged, right? And look at the picture. This is the energy. You are closing out this cycle and moving forward really fast having learned the lessons and taking those training wheels off and you're leaving this person behind waving their arms um because they can't they can't stop you from moving forward especially if they're dealing with a karmic so you know yeah they don't know how to really reach out to you yet i feel like this person they're getting ready, they're getting prepared, they're cleaning themselves up. Maybe in more way than one. More ways than one, right? And um, yeah, you're leaving. 
they don't have time to think of all these creative ideas. They, they've got to come forward if they don't want you to leave. Maybe they were hoping to hear from you, Collective, but that's not happening. Empty-handed, they're doing a lot of crying. I feel like they could be crying in private while they deal with um, a tough-to-handle, you know, uh, karmic in the background, right? And I feel like they are waking up, though, here. All this white light around this person, okay, that's the divine light. Those are messages, um, downloads that this person is getting, vibes, right? They're vibing way higher than the karmic is right now. Look at them praying, even. This person could be praying, talking to the divine, okay? They may have already even tried to contact you, and maybe they're waiting for a response for some of you, but that's not happening. You're moving on quickly. Yep, they're feeling really guilty. Very responsible. They know that um, there's. It, it almost feels like there's nothing they can really do because um, they chose this life. They chose this lifestyle with this karmic. They chose that. This was their decision. You know? But yeah, they want you back. You're all that they can think about. And I feel like this person is starting to put in the work. Um, yeah, they're depressed. They're really sad about this collective. Um, feeling hopeless. They see this two of cups situation going down the tubes. Um, if they don't do something about it, I feel like this person is scared. I feel like they're afraid of change. They're afraid of what this karmic is going to do as far as the backlash and revenge. Um, they feel completely unprotected because I feel like you were their spiritual protection. Now with that cycle being closed, they don't have any more spiritual protection. I feel like you were it. Now they have to deal with this karmic situation, and it's just exploding. It really is. Um, they feel like maybe, uh, they feel like the rug has been pulled out from underneath them. You know, I feel like they're having a very hard time trying to cope with the fact that you're moving on. All right? They don't like that, they know, especially knowing that they're at fault. That it's, they're responsible for this. Meanwhile, you know, they're, they're jaded and completely uninterested wherever they are. They don't, it's almost like they're pulling away here. This is like hermit energy to me. Um, kind of shutting down, maybe not wanting to deal with the karmic at all. It just doesn't, it, it's not, um, they're not on the same page anymore. Okay. This masculine has, has gone up a level. They're not um, vibing at the same level anymore. So it's just not working. And your person just isn't interested in the drama anymore. They would rather hear about some spiritual things. You know, but I feel like your person feels like their life is kind of out of control right now. Like they don't have control of the situation the karmic doesn't have control of themselves. Neither one of them have control over you. Um, this person could have sent you some text messages, um, maybe emails, or even, I don't know, tried to comment on some of your social media. Um, they, I feel like they've been waiting to hear back from you. They've been hopeful. Um, they could even be like, I don't know why, communicating with you like in code or something. Maybe they're they're putting out comments out there um, using sentences and things that you've said that only you would know. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody. You know, these kind of tactics aren't working anymore. You're You're not even looking in their direction. Okay, you're out here living your best life. Enough with the little kid games. If this person wants, <laughs> if this person wants to communicate, 
it me I feel like it needs to be upfront, honest, and point blank. You know? No more running around the subject. No more playing little games. You know, this isn't high school. This is life. And they are in a bad situation. I feel like that they need to maybe toss this how to creatively communicate with you and, uh, and the um, psychic telepathic communication and talking in code. And you know what? All that needs to get tossed out the window. If this person wants to create any kind of change, they have to be real with people. Period. Period. They have to be real with this karmic and set things straight, and they have to be real with you and set things straight. And I feel like that's where the divine is trying to get them. When it comes to the messages and the downloads, I feel like that's one of the things that they're being told. Um, yeah, and that's maybe why they're tucking their tail between their legs, because they know they have to face this head on. No more games. Okay, what is this shocking surprise here? Clarify the shocking surprise. If this person saw you out in public, I feel like they would pop right out at you. <laughs> you know? Um, they may not know if... They may be looking or waiting for a good opportunity to talk to you, collective. Yeah, this person may pop out at you somewhere where you're not expecting it. I don't see you expecting this. Other than that, I mean, if they can't see you out in public somewhere and be able to approach you, they don't know how they're going to break away from this karmic. They feel very bound. Okay, it could be a spell, but... Yeah, they're really stressed out because they want to they want to be free from this karmic situation. I can't make it up. They want to be freed from it, but the, the the only thing that they can really do in this situation then is communicate that point blank, the the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth and confront the situation head on. That's really all that they can really do. Other than that, their little games High school games aren't working anymore. It's time to get real. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 